the recent revelation of racist and derogatory emails exchanged by Donald Trump Jr., eldest son of former President Donald Trump, has ignited a pressing need for an in-depth exploration of the long-standing issues surrounding racism within the Trump family. These emails, which date back to the period between 2005 and 2008, have resurfaced in the midst of an ongoing legal dispute involving Gentry Beach, a close associate of Trump Jr. This discovery unveils not only a legal dispute but also sheds light on a deeply disconcerting pattern of racism deeply entrenched within the Trump family and their immediate network. One cannot overlook the disconcerting nonchalance with which Trump Jr. conducted these email exchanges with Beach. The emails contain references to hunting Jews and shooting Mexicans, regrettably perpetuating prejudice stereotypes and racially biased perceptions. Regrettably, this is not an isolated incident. It is part of a disturbing pattern in which Trump Jr. consistently employs racially insensitive language and reinforces harmful stereotypes. Of particular concern is Trump Jr.'s commentary on the increasing presence of black families in Manhattan, likening it to Harlem. This blatant comparison is not only a testament to his ignorance of the multifaceted dynamics of urban development but also lays bare his deeply entrenched racial prejudices. Drawing such parallels between a historically black populated neighborhood and another area implies negative connotations and showcases not only racial bias but also a remarkable lack of sensitivity. This pattern of racism within the Trump family is by no means a recent development. The presidency of Donald Trump was marked by a series of inflammatory remarks. From his inadequate response to the white supremacist rally in Charlottesville to his derogatory comments about immigrants from what he described as shithole countries, Trump consistently propagated a narrative that normalized prejudice and discriminatory rhetoric. If you've made it this far in the video, please support our channel by subscribing, sharing, and commenting. The racial issues within the Trump family are not confined to recent history. The family's patriarch, Fred Trump, faced substantial allegations of racial discrimination within his real estate ventures during the 1970s. These allegations are rooted in the practices of the Trump family's real estate business, marking a long history of racial insensitivity. The consequences of such attitudes, particularly when expressed by influential figures, are extensive. These comments not only embolden bigotry but also cultivate the notion that discrimination and racism are tolerable. Such statements, especially when emanating from the Trump family, which wields considerable influence, create an environment conducive to discrimination. Furthermore, it is crucial to consider the policy choices made by the Trump administration during his presidency, which significantly affected marginalized communities. Policies such as the detention of migrant children in what were widely referred to as cages at the U.S.-Mexico border and the implementation of a visa ban predominantly targeting Muslim-majority nations further marginalized and disenfranchised already vulnerable groups. Moreover, Donald Trump's derogatory remarks about Mexicans, where he irresponsibly labeled them as rapists, perpetuate harmful stereotypes and unfounded generalizations, causing considerable harm to the Mexican community. Additionally, it is essential to acknowledge the numerous allegations of sexual assault against Donald Trump himself, made by multiple women, thus adding a disturbing layer of hypocrisy to his rhetoric. In conclusion, the recent revelations of racist emails exchanged by Donald Trump Jr. are not isolated incidents but are part of a broader pattern of racial insensitivity within the Trump family. These instances are indicative of deeply ingrained racism that has serious consequences, impacting not only discourse but also policy choices affecting vulnerable communities. The Trump family's historical legacy and its influence on American society underscore the urgent need for comprehensive and rigorous efforts to address these issues. Please show your support, subscribe, like, comment, and share, four free ways to boost our channel. Thank you very much.